Hello there, welcome back. In this video I'm not going to do like a full pond update, although there is quite a lot happening. There's one thing in particular that I want to show you, and that madness is occurring just behind me. You know, there'll be long periods of relative inactivity, then all of a sudden the surface will just explode with fish. And there'll be dozens of them come up to the top and start thrashing about. It's really pretty amazing to watch. See all the fish just milling around there. A lot of those will just be eating the eggs, you know. But this pond weed here, that's half in and half out the water, is called New Zealand stone crop. It's a very invasive plant, but it's excellent for fish spawning in. That's why it's in the pond purely just for fish to spawn in because it holds the eggs very well. Now there's a very similar fish to the rud which is called a roach um, but instead of having an upward facing mouth like the rud it has a downward facing mouth and they quite often spawn with the rud and they can crossbreed so you do get hybrids coming out. I know I do have a few in the pond but so far I haven't seen any roach just rud. Now that is spawning activity. <laughs> I could put a net in there and scoop about 30 of them out, I think. God, it's just fish absolutely everywhere. I just wish I had more of this weed. It is an invasive species, but it's excellent for them to spawn in. So really, I wish I had huge patches of this in the pond, but it, it doesn't grow very well in my pond for some reason. Hopefully the fish will really put a hell of a lot of eggs in here, and they'll also it'll spawn elsewhere as well, but um, this seems to be the main focus of activity. <laughs> so this is the next day and the spawning's continued and it's just degenerated into pure madness. There's fish absolutely everywhere. They're beaching themselves all over this weed. There must be thousands and thousands of eggs absolutely everywhere. Fish swimming around the pond. It's, it's unbelievable. I didn't even think I had this many fish left alive. And these are absolutely oblivious of the fact that I'm standing so close to them. Purely concentrating on spawning. So, if anybody wants any rud at the back end of the year, just let me know. There'll be tens of thousands of them in the pond, and you can help yourself. Ah, I couldn't find the big long spawning brush. I must have given it away to somebody possibly two or three years ago. That's how often I look in some parts of my shed. But what I have got is some quite big old um, brushes from big pond filters. These are reasonably soft. I think these will do a decent job. So I'm going to put these over the side next to where the weed is. Uh, not too close because I don't want to kind of put them off using the weed. But hopefully they'll use this to spawn in as well. Right, so that's where they've been spawning. And just next to it I've put all of those brushes in there. Hopefully they'll use that to spawn in as well. You know, they'll just swim through here and drop all their eggs and so on. That should be okay for them to spawn in, but ideally you want a, a one that's a little bit softer because obviously they're going to be swimming backwards and forwards through there for hours or possibly days on end. Mine might be a little bit too rough, but we'll see. What I'll do, I'll put a, a link to proper spawning brushes in the video description, so if you're interested in buying some and getting them in early enough for your fish to breed in, just click the link, you'll go straight there. If you've enjoyed this video, Hit the thumbs up, share it wherever you want, check out my other videos, there's hundreds of them. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, etc, etc, etc. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Now that is spawning activity.